Kia ora, good afternoon. In breaking news, at least 73 people have been killed and 100 injured in Nice, France, after a truck was driven into a crowd celebrating Bastille Day. People watching fireworks on Nice's promenade suddenly ran for their lives after a truck mounted the footpath and drove for 100 metres at speed into the crowd and mowed people down for a distance of about two kilometres. Gunfire was heard and there are reports the driver fired into the crowd as well. The driver was shot dead in a gunfight with police. We have seen footage that is too graphic to air at this stage of dozens of people left lying in the street and being attended to by other members of the public until emergency services arrived at the scene. The incident has been described in some media reports as a terror attack, but it's too early to know yet what the driver's motivation was. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade says 882 New Zealanders are currently registered as being in France. The New Zealand Embassy in Paris is liaising with local authorities to find out if any were harmed in the incident. And a crisis group has been set up in Nice to investigate the situation. The president of the region in the south of France has extended his condolences to families of the victims, saying this is the worst tragedy in the history of Nice. John Key has been marking the Bastille Day celebrations and was in Paris at the time of the attack. He issued this statement. Our thoughts are with the victims of the tragedy in Nice, their families and the people of France. CBS reporter Elaine Cobb is in Paris and working with local sources there. Earlier she told Scott Pally about the latest being reported from Nice. A local reporter on the scene saw a large transport truck drive directly into the crowd. People scattered in panic. The local mayor tweeted that dozens appear to have been killed. Local police say several dozen as well. And local police have called on the public in Nice to stay calm and avoid the downtown area. They say an emergency operation is underway. Ambulances and emergency doctors are on the scene. Elaine, the Associated Press says that it has talked to an eyewitness who claimed to have seen the gunman, uh, I should say the driver, open fire with a gun after he ran the truck into the crowd. Have you heard anything about gunfire? A local newspaper says that they believe the driver did shoot as well, and they have a photograph which shows the truck riddled with bullets, um, presumably from police firing back, but we have no official confirmation of that. Now, the police have put up a cordon of security all around that downtown area. And this is a developing story, but now there are signs that this incident may have been planned as a much larger attack. French officials say the white truck that plowed into the crowd of people was packed with firearms, explosives and grenades. And soon after the Nice attack, there was concern in Paris that another incident was unfolding. A fire erupted at the Eiffel Tower and images were quickly shared around the world on news websites and social media. But police now say it was not related to the Nice attack. So just recapping, a truck driver has mowed down a crowd of people killing at least 73 and injuring 100 others during the Steel Day celebrations in Nice in France. And as we just mentioned earlier, explosives and guns have been found in the back of the truck. We'll have full coverage of this story as it unfolds on newshub.co.nz throughout the day. And we'll cross live to Europe correspondent Tyber O'Brien for the latest as well as a comprehensive wrap of events on Newshub Live tonight at 6 o'clock. Today on an all-new Dr. Phil. I believe my cousin is...